when you get tired, I will help you through. Little heart, when you get broken, I will shelter you. Little ears, if you will listen, you will hear the truth. You will hear the truth. Well, hello there, little truth. ones. Alma was just crushing up some walnuts for a special recipe my friend taught me how to make. You can make this recipe any time of the year, but it's most especially made during the Jewish celebration of Passover. Are any of you Jewish, my little ones? Almost not, but I love learning about other faiths, and I hope to share a little bit about my faith one day too. The first two nights of the Passover, a special meal is held called the Seder. It's a time when family and friends gather around the table and they retell the story of Moses leading the people out of ancient Egypt. Special dishes are shared, and one of them is Haroset, which is what I'm trying to make today. The meal is also symbolic of many of the things that happened during that time in Egypt. Haroset was symbolic of the mortar used by the slaves who were in ancient Egypt at that time. Our storybook for today will tell us many more things about the Passover. So let Oma finish crushing up these walnuts. I'll take off my apron, wash my hands, and I'll be with you in just a minute. There we are. Today's book is very simply called My First Passover, and it's written by the very talented author illustrator, Mr. Tommy DePaulo. Mr. DePaulo has written and illustrated over 260 children's books, and he holds a special place in Oma's heart. When my children were wee little, just like you, I used to dress up as one of his most famous characters, Strega Nona, and I would go to their elementary school and read aloud all the Strega Nona books. Maybe one day I'll read Strega Nona to you too, but for today, we're going to read Mr. DePaulo's book, My First Passover. Let's go. My First Passover, written by Mr. Tommy DePaulo. It is the first night of Passover. Why is this night different from all other nights? On Passover, we have a special ceremony called the Seder. During the Seder, we eat and sing songs. There are special foods for the Seder, matzah, heroses, bitter herbs, parsley, shank bone, egg, and salt water. This is the Haggadah, the book we read at the Seder. It tells us the story of Passover. The youngest child asks the four questions about the meaning of the holiday. Isn't that wonderful it gets to be a child? This is a special cup for Elijah the prophet. We celebrate Passover to remember when Moses led the Hebrew people out of slavery in Egypt next year in Jerusalem, which is the last thing said at the Seder meal. Wasn't that interesting, my furry friends? Oma loves to learn new things about people, don't you, little ones? The full story of the Passover can be found in a special book that Oma reads every day called the Bible. In the book of Exodus, chapter 13, 
it tells us all about Moses leading the people from Egypt. And it even talks about the Seder. Here it says, And you shall tell your son on that day, It is because of what the Lord did for me when I came out of Egypt. And it shall be to you as a sign on your hand and as a memorial between your eyes that the law of the Lord may be in your mouth. For with a strong hand the Lord has brought you out of Egypt. You shall therefore keep this ordinance at its appointed time from year to year. And so you see, my little ones, the Jewish people continue to celebrate this great occurrence every year during the Passover. I can't wait to share more stories with you, maybe about other faiths too. But until then, Oma is sending you her hugs and her blessings. I hope you'll catch them and hold them real tight. Bye-bye. It's a big word.